In this video, I'm going to talk about how S3 Media Vault protection works, how the security works, and how the two types of security when it comes to videos, which are progressive downloads and streaming video, how the security works for both of them. There's frequently some confusion with how S3 Media Vault protects videos and links. And one of the biggest uh, questions we get is, when I go to a page which has the video, I can do a view source and I'm able to see the URL clearly. Uh, so does that mean that the link can be copied and shared and can unauthorized people watch my video? So let's start with that. So there's two types of videos, streaming videos and progressive downloads. I'll explain both of those in a second, but let's start with progressive download videos. When you, what a progressive download video means is that as you click play, the video starts downloading into your computer's, your browser's buffer. Okay, so the browser has a temp folder where it stores all the, the uh, JavaScript and images and everything else that is required for a website to be visible in your browser. Now you don't know about it, but it's actually storing a copy of the different files, JavaScript, CSS, images videos, audio, whatever it is on that page. And it displays that from a, the temp folder. So nothing is really real time. It is actually downloading those things to your computer and then showing it to you. That is why you have the feature in browsers which says, you know, uh, delete the cache, delete uh, uh, unwanted files. You can do a cleanup of your browser files. That's what it means. It's basically deleting all the files in the temp folder. So now when I come to this page and I hit click play, you'll see that the, the video, even if I hit pause right away, it'll start downloading in the buffer, buffer and you'll see the buffer progress bar proceeding way further than where it is actually playing. So let me do that. Okay, you can see here. So this is the, the video being downloaded to your browser. So when I click play, you'll see that this, this, this is where I am right now in terms of uh, where I'm watching, but the, this, slightly lesser gray bar will keep progressing a little bit ahead of time if, if my bandwidth is good enough. And that's what allows me to watch this video without being interrupted. So that is a progressive download video. One of the benefits of that is if you have viewers in locations where there's low bandwidth or internet connection is not good, they can click play and allow the video to uh, download to the browser and then they can click play after it is uh, downloaded to a certain extent so that they're not constantly having to, uh, the video constantly doesn't uh, freeze and pause and stuff. So the standard, when you go to S3 Media Vault and you create a new short code, so you have the option of creating a video player standard or video player streaming. So standard means progressive downloads. And that means the video will be downloaded to the viewer's browser and it'll play from that. And the fact that it is being progressively downloaded to the viewer's browser means there are certain browser plugins like Video Downloader or Video Download Helper or Internet Download Manager. There are certain, some of the software and plugins that somebody could use to download the video or copy the video from where it is being downloaded and then they can save it to wherever they want. Technically it is secure, but the person watching the video can still download it, which is not a problem for most people, especially membership site owners and online course creators. In fact, one of the things I recommend, uh, even in my podcast at subscribeme.fm is that you should make your files downloadable for your members because you don't want to just them have to always watch a video on your website. They should be able to download it for offline use when uh, they don't uh, have to use internet access as well as for their own library because if they cancel the subscription in the future, they want to have a copy of it. Unless for some reason you don't want them to have that feature, the ability to download anything and they should always watch your videos on your website only. In that case, you would create the streaming video player. And the way that works is so here we are on the streaming video demo at uh, s3mediavaults.com slash demo. And the way streaming video uh, works is it takes MP4 and converts it into a stream. So the file extension will no longer be .mp4, it'll be a .m3u8, which is a, a called the playlist, and a bunch of .ts files. These are chunks of the video. So it'll split the video into multiple .ts files, which by themselves cannot be viewed. and 
normally somebody, if they know how to do this, they could try to download all of these files and then put the, put them together and try to play it. But S3 Media Vault also has industrial strength AES 128-bit encryption, which means even if they downloaded all the files, if they put together, it'll say, cannot play this file because they're all encrypted. And that's what the encrypted streaming video feature of S3 Media Vault does. It, it offers the highest possible security for your videos where somebody can only watch it on your website. And it, even if they try to download certain the chunks and try to put them together, it will not work. And even plugins like Video Downloader or Video Download Helper or IDM, Internet Download Manager, none of them will work. So going back to the progressive download demo, one of the questions we get asked is, okay, if I uh, go to this page that has the video and if I view source, then I'm able to look at the link. So does that mean the video is not secure? And that is not the case, so let me explain. So here we are in the view source of that, that page, okay? And if you see here, I look uh, for the .mp4, and this is the actual link. So it's being served from CloudFront, right? So this is a huge link. So if somebody tries to take this video, this whole link, or just even up to the mp4, it doesn't matter. Either way, this link is set to expire by default, in 16 minutes that is like thousand seconds so if you go to the settings page here in s3 media all setting there's something called link expiry time in seconds now if you don't enter anything here the every link that is generated by s3 media vault will expire in thousand seconds so thousand is the default value even if you don't enter anything here and thousand seconds is about 16 point something minutes right so you can lower it to as little as 60 seconds, which means one minute. That's the lowest uh, expiration time allowed by Amazon S3, AWS. So you could put 60 in here, which means every link that is generated, every video, every PDF, everything that is generated, it can be clicked on for up to a minute. So when, when it comes to a video, if you're wondering what happens if the video is 20 minutes long, then that's not a problem. So if somebody comes to this page, as long as they click play within a minute, the video will never expire, right? It'll keep playing whether it's five minutes long, 10 minutes long, two hours long, doesn't matter. So the video link itself will not expire for this person who's viewing this video. But if they try to view source and take that link and pass it around in a forum or uh, share it by email, then from the time this page was loaded, the link will be valid for only one minute. So literally they would have to take this link. They would, as soon as they come to this page, they'll have to do a view source, take the link, send it to somebody, and they would have to click on it within, within all, all while the minute timer is going on. So that's highly unlikely of that working. They won't be able to really share it with anybody and uh, abuse it by sharing it with unauthorized users. So that's how the security of S3 Media Vault works, not by hiding because obscurity is not security. So hiding something is doesn't mean it's secure. So the true way to make it secure is make the links only generate from your website and those are secure expiring links which ex expire within a certain number of seconds and you can control that by entering the, the number of seconds in the settings page and then when they view it it doesn't matter if the video is longer they can still watch it for however long it is and even if they click pause and go away for some time take a break and come back and watch it'll still continue to work so the one minute expiration will only be for somebody trying to illegally share the link with somebody else outside of your website on a forum or by email and so on. So this progressive download video by itself is secure, but the person who you have authorized to watch this video, because you're probably using a membership plugin like digitalaccesspass.com to protect the page so that only certain people can access it, or maybe you are password protecting the page. So however you are protecting this page, it doesn't matter. The fact that when somebody comes to this page, that means they are an authorized user, right? So because this is a progressive download video, the person who is authorized to watch, to watch this video 
can technically go to the view source and download it or use a browser plugin like Video Downloader or Video Download Helper or Internet Download Manager, and they can download it to their computer. Now, whether that is allowed, that is up to you to decide, but that is not technically abuse, right? Because they, are, they have paid you they're a valid member, they're an authorized user, so they're watching the video anyway, which is already being downloaded to their computer anyway. Even if you don't use the plugins, you can still manually go to the temp folder and figure out where the video is being stored by your browser. So if you don't even want your authorized users, your paying members, if you don't want anybody to be able to download the video using any tool, then do streaming video. So when you create a short code, video player short code, make sure you select video player streaming and you select the MP4 file by clicking on browse and selecting the player. But before you embed the player and before it works, you must go to your media section and go down to the file, the MP4 file that you want to embed as a streaming video and you have to click on prepare for streaming. And once you click on prepare for streaming, it'll take about a minute for it to start the process and the video will be submitted to Amazon AWS and that will convert this MP4 into the, the .m3 U8 that I showed you earlier and the .ts files. That will become a stream and it'll do the encryption and all that. So for, for you to create a stream, it can take a total of about five minutes. So make sure you come to the media page first and then you, if this is the file you want to embed, if this is the video you want to uh, embed on a page, then click on prepare for streaming. The, the process itself takes about a minute and then a few more minutes for Amazon to convert your MP4 into a stream. And then by the time you can go to the actual settings uh, to the short code page and you can create a short code here saying, saying streaming uh, video or if you if you have a module name you enter that select video player streaming click browse and then make sure you select the same file that you prepared for streaming earlier and then you save the short code and you embed it on a page and this time the video that plays will be a streaming video that cannot be downloaded using any tools whatsoever and that's how s3 media vault protects your videos audio pdf and all other files and even within the video, there are two types of protection. One is the progressive downloads and one is streaming video. If you don't care about your authorized members being able to download your videos, then use the, just the standard video player. But if you d don't want anybody to download your videos, no matter what, then use the streaming video player.